I mean, obviously, fans of Love Island will know all about your rapping, which is why we got lovely Anne to do it with yeah. you earlier. Yeah, which was they amazing. taught me how. They were amazing. They were is that what yeah. you did? Both of you have that in you. Did you want to get into that? And you thought, oh, Love Island will be a good Not really, way no, in. Not really. We just we. I used to just do it as like a laugh with my mm. friends. Like I was always just knowing the one in the group that was always just singing and like rapping yeah. and having a laugh. And it was just like our way of kind of... It just kind of brought us together. It kind of created the bromance. And we were just... When we was bored, we just spent hours just like creating raps. We just, I don't know where it comes from. believe you now have your own show based on it? I know, it's mad. The thing is, like, we've, we've always loved the music. That's how you kind of like vibe off it, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. It, it, is, it, is mad, it yeah. was surreal. Like, it happened so quickly, didn't it? Coming out of there and it being that big and yeah. then getting called in and they were like, right, you two have got your own show. And we was like, <gasps> what? Like, us two, just like, it's just mad. Let's have a little look. look. We've, we've got a clip. Let's have a look. It's something a little bit exciting to take. Well, we've got a meeting tomorrow. Tomorrow? With a record company. Yeah. Kem's already told me. Did he? Yeah, he told me yesterday. Oh, thanks, Chris. He's not, we're not as close, I'm just saying. The thing was, right, me and Cam had an agreement and we were just going to tell the girls all together yeah, yeah. at the dinner table. It slipped out, though. Like, she goes through my phone and stuff like that. It slipped out. <laughs> she goes through my phone. <laughs> did it slip out? It did. It just slipped out. It just... <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, like, just, like, a typical girlfriend, you know, they like, just have a little look at your phone every Do week. They? Do they? No, like, they just, like... Do just they? a browse, just a Yeah, like, just like, a browse. Like, when I'm in the shower, she'll just be on my phone. Yeah. You don't <laughs> mind? You, not you need one that? of those waterproof No, I don't, nothing's hard. So I just... We just... Well, what about you, Chris? Does uh, Olivia go through your phone? No, she actually doesn't. No. No. No, she... she um... might see some text from Katie Price, apparently. <laughs> yeah, no, well, yeah. I know, a little bit. <laughs> What's happening with that? I'm curious. <sighs> Well, basically, I'm just... I'm one of them people, right? I don't... Like, someone asked me if they're flirting message, I said, yeah, in my opinion, to me, that's flirty. I've yeah. got a girlfriend. Like she said on her tweet, she's met me once. She doesn't actually know me. And for someone to message someone after in the morning and to message someone repetitively when they're not responding, to me, that's flirting when I've got a girlfriend. So that's my opinion on it, and that's the way I see it. Other people don't see it as flirting. I personally do. And therefore, when she said that she hadn't sent me them, that's basically accusing me of lying of what I said, and if someone accused me of something I haven't done or being a liar, then I will just back myself and I'll yeah. defend myself. Yeah, I mean, yeah possibly he at the moment, it might not have been the right thing to do, but I don't regret what yeah. I Yeah, no, I mean, Katie has texted us today me, and you know said, I mean? you know, ask Chris why you made it public. I think she's maybe a bit hurt that you did make it public. The thing was, when it came out about flirty messages, I never... That, I don't know how that got out, because that wasn't me. I was just asked, were they a bit flirty? And all I did was, I was like, yeah, to me they were. And that was it. That was, like, the thing done. Then it come out in the press. Mm. Yeah. And then it was her then. Yeah, that could've, it could have died down. And then she what said, it, then she said yeah, that never happened. So that's basically saying it, that... Mm. But to me, it did. So it's like I'm saying something what isn't true. So. And you absolutely didn't respond? No, nothing. Not a lot, like... I don't think... Personally, I wouldn't have done what I did if I'd have responded. It just looked a bit muggy, do you know what I mean? So. Well, your relationship with Liv inside, I really like Liv and Amber, and I think they're great girls, yeah, but inside there was that connection where you kind of had a love-hate relationship. Does she ever get jealous now that you've come out of the house and you're in a situation where girls can kind of come in and...? Yeah, I think it's just... It's different now, isn't it? Like, being out... I think everything's easier for us now we're outside of the villa, personally. Easier? Yeah, a lot easier. Because How I just come? think... I don't know, I just think, like, the whole villa thing, is not, it's not like a real world, do you know what I mean? Until you experience it on the outside, everything's a bit different. So, mm. to be fair, we've gone, like, honestly, like, strength to strength since we've been out. And, like, every week, like, we progress, and it seems to be getting, like, easier every week as it goes by, because oh. you learn more about each other, and it just... Baby Cash. Yeah, yeah, he's still going. <laughs> he's learning to um, he's learning to walk now. Oh, oh that's fantastic! It's a milestone. Very well behaved, doesn't yeah, he? Stop, stop breastfeeding. Can I ask both of you because the the whole kind of Love Island physique phenomenon, which is really quite hard to say at lunchtime. Um, yeah, yeah. After became, you've had a drink. Yeah, it became a, I'm saying nothing. Um, became a big thing because you guys are so yeah. buff and walking around with your thank your, your you. Yeah, on we were at one that time. Sort of thing. Do, do you find pressure to keep that going? Do you know what? We was actually talking about it the other day. Like, me and Chris both trained so hard for the villa. Like, obviously, being in shape was so important. Like, since we've left, we haven't had a chance to train at all. Like, it's okay. probably been, I what, love hearing that, because people months. feel like you can just yeah. turn up with a six-pack anywhere. Sweat. And, like, we was yeah. filming for our show the other day, and the producers were like, can we do a scene with you with your tops off? And we were like, we don't feel comfortable. We're not saying 
we're in bad shape, but we just don't feel comfortable in the shape we're in now. Yeah. So we yeah. was like, we just don't really want to do it. How and hard I didn't is it think... to get a six pack? How committed do you have to be? Committed. I was going to gym like twice a day. I, I, my, all my meals yeah. are done for a company. Wow. I was like, out eating at certain times. And then like wow. to lose it all, not saying I'm in bad shape now, but from what I was in, I just don't feel personally comfortable having yeah. my top off. Until I kind of get to it. Do you know, I think that's it. really reassuring to a lot of people because well, you think that you're just like that all the, the time. Thing is, and I've, you go to PA, you're like the same thing. I've gone to PA and people mm. are like, oh, you're a lot skinnier than I thought. I thought because the first, everyone knows you from seven weeks in a villa yeah, when you're in good yeah. shape. People so just come out, sure. literally, you do not, we <laughs> haven't had time. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> everyone just thinks I'm 5'10, they turn up and they're like, I thought, oh. thought you were taller than that. Like, <laughs> well, you, look, you both no. look beautiful. You're beautiful boys, <laughs> aren't they?